okay guys let's uh, discuss about uh, the concept of rotation that is Connie's method related to complex number like as you see the figure on the left hand side I have taken a very simple case like uh, Z1 is a complex number which is written in the Euler form as R1 into e to the power i alpha and Z2 is another complex number which is written in the Euler form as R2 into e to the power i beta. Now as you know that complex number is um, like a vector quantity uh, which have magnitude that is R1 and direction which is called the argument alpha and similarly Z2 has the magnitude R2 and the argument beta. So we know that this particular length of the vector is R1 and this length of the vector is R2 and the angle made by the vector is alpha and angle made by this vector is beta which gives the direction. So if we uh, divide the two complex numbers like if we write down Z1 by Z2 then we know that Z1 is R1 e to the power i alpha divided by Z2 is R2 e to the power i beta so the result will become r1 by r2 into e to the power i into alpha minus beta now from the figure we can see that this angle alpha minus beta is nothing but the angle theta okay this much is alpha and this much is beta so in between angle is theta so we can safely write down this to be equivalent to r1 that is mod z1 by r2 that is mod z2 into e to the power i theta okay so the Connie's method can be stated from here like we can take the origin in this case to be a pivotal point okay origin is acting like a pivot about which the rotation is happening and we can say that uh, z2 from z2 we are trying to rotate in the direction of theta like uh, in the anticlockwise direction by an angle theta to reach the direction of z1 so about this particular pivotal point i am rotating the vector z2 to go along the direction of z1 so we can say that z2 is my initial position and z1 is my final position for rotation so the statement is something like z1 by z2 that is uh, we can say that this z1 is nothing but um, this z1 we can say to be the final position and this z2 can be said to be the initial position from where the rotation is starting so z1 by z2 that is nothing but uh, the modulus of z1 divided by modulus of z2 into e to the power i theta now this theta is nothing but the angle traveled from initial to final okay theta is the angle traveled to reach that particular direction along the final vector so from initial to final the angle of rotation is theta so we can apply the same concept here when the pivotal point is not origin like the pivotal point is suppose z2 so if the pivotal point is z2 then we can see that on the right side figure i have considered a position vector z1 another position z2 and another position z3 and I have joined these two particular points Z1 and Z2 and uh, this particular vector will become Z1 minus Z2 okay that we can find out using the triangle law vector addition and similarly the vector joining Z2 and Z3 can be written as Z3 minus Z2 okay like we can see that this particular vector direction is Z1 this particular direction is Z2 so this direction should be Z1 minus Z2 Similarly, this is Z2, this is Z3. So this particular direction should be Z3 minus Z2. So now we can consider Z2 to be a pivot. So if we consider Z2 to be a pivot, then we can say that this particular direction is getting rotated uh, to reach this particular direction. Okay. So from here, I am rotating suppose by an angle theta to reach this particular direction. So we can say that the rotation in this particular example will be written as the final position that will be z1 minus z2 divided by the initial position that is going to be z3 minus z2 this is equal to modulus of the final position that is z1 minus z2 divided by modulus of the initial position that is z3 minus z2 
into e to the power i into the angle traveled from initial to final and that angle is nothing but theta so this is the generalized representation of the conis method of the concept of rotation okay so that is uh, verified from this figure z1 minus z2 is the final position and z3 minus z2 is the initial position and the same concept we have already seen here that is final by initial so we are using that in the generalized case to be final by initial is equal to the mod final by mod initial into e to the power i into the angle traveled from initial to final okay and as you know that for calculation of this angle when we'll be measuring the angle in the clockwise direction it will be taken as a negative and when we'll be measuring the angle in the anti-clockwise direction then it will be taken as positive okay this is the sign convention that we follow for angles